Hi everyone, thanks for joining us for another segment of The Zoo to You. My name is Heather and this is Jifu and we are both zoo teachers here at the Central Florida Zoo and Botanical Gardens. Today we're gonna to be learning all about a very special Florida native reptile that many of you have probably heard of before, the American alligator. So today we're gonna to be making this cool American alligator craft. For this craft, you're going to need two toilet paper rolls, um, a pen so that you can mark out the different patterns on the toilet paper rolls, googly eyes, scissors, any kind of glue that you have on hand, a paintbrush, and also, again, any fun colors or paints that you happen to have on hand. For this craft, we chose black because that's the actual color that alligators are. There are these really nice black scales, sort of brownish in color, and that's to help them blend into their habitat for when they're hunting, but also to hide from predators. And we also have this yellow because when alligators are babies, they have yellow and black stripes to help them camouflage. So the first thing we're gonna do, and actually it's the step that we've already done, is we're going to draw on the shapes of our alligator that we're gonna cut out later. These are the shapes that we're gonna be drawing on there. Um, the instructions for these will also be made available online. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the shape of the teeth on either side of one of the tubes. And then on the underside, we're actually gonna draw two connected rectangles, and those will be the front legs of our alligator. On the other tube, you're gonna draw those same rectangles again. Those will be the back legs. We're also going to draw a big square on the underside. That'll get cut out and leave his tail. And then on the top side, we're gonna draw some triangle shaped scales. Once we have everything drawn on, we're actually gonna go ahead and cut those shapes. So if you wanna go ahead and grab your scissors and carefully cut them. The first thing we're gonna do is cut out the section for the tail. So if you roll the second tube over, you're gonna cut out that whole square. The next part can get a little tricky, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump in there and do that. We're gonna cut out these scaly parts on the top, but we're just gonna cut the zigzags and we're gonna leave this long part intact. So afterwards, the scales will stick up in the air. So I'm gonna fold it a little bit and then cut along the edge and then take the scissors to cut out the rest of the scales. It's okay if it doesn't look perfect because we're going to decorate it later. When you're done, it'll look like this and those scales will fold up to stick up just like they would on a real alligator. And this part, the bumpy part on the back of the alligator is called osteoderms. They actually have small bones underneath their scales to act like armor to help protect them from any predators. So next I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the legs. Um, so we are going to cut the long ends of the rectangles and this little line in the middle, but we're gonna leave the short ends on either side connected. So again, I'm just gonna fold it a little bit and cut down those lines. Once it's done, these legs are actually gonna pop out a little bit and that's gonna help your alligator to stand up. And you're going to do the exact same thing on the other roll. So for the teeth, you can go ahead and just cut those whole sections out. And we're gonna go ahead and put those two pieces of the alligator together. Um, so you can glue or tape it. We're just gonna go ahead and slide one end of the tube into the other, fold it down a little bit. And once your alligator is together, you can decorate it however you like, paint it. You can attach some googly eyes. If you don't have googly eyes, you can always draw them on. Um, we put ours on the top of our alligator because that's where their eyes are naturally so they can see above the water while keeping their body submerged. Um, it helps them to camouflage. But once you're all done decorating, your alligator is gonna look just like that. But Heather, where are the yellow stripes? I'm glad you asked. So here we have one of our animal ambassadors. This is an American alligator. He is still a young alligator. He's about two years old. And at this age, they still have those yellow stripes that you guys can see down their body. And those stripes are gonna help him to camouflage um, towards the edges of the water where he's gonna live. As you can see, his eyes are on the top of his head as well as his nostrils, just like we told you guys. That's gonna allow him to be able to see and breathe while still keeping his body below the water. 
As he gets older, those yellow stripes are gonna start to fade away. They'll turn a dark color, just like other alligators that you guys may have seen out in the wild. Once those stripes start to fade away, he'll move into deeper waters where there aren't as many grasses for him to camouflage in. Thank you everyone for joining us today and making this awesome American alligator craft. We hope you had a fun time and that you join us for our next segment of The Zoo To You.